gonna see how badly this picks up on the GoPro, but because it is really windy today on an otherwise nice clear day. But I bought a new vehicle, and if you probably couldn't tell by the clicking on this video, <laughs> it is a 2000 Saturn SWP. Uh, before you ask, I am a rural mail carrier. I am an RCA. I'm not a full-time regular yet. Plain. But, uh, this is a, uh, we do need our own vehicles. Most of the routes at my current office don't have, uh, uh, government vehicles, which is their term for an LLV or a van. Uh, Supposedly, in May of 2023, this year, we were supposed to get the Oshkosh NGLVs, uh, or NGDVs, whatever they're called, the new trucks on the city side, and the old LLVs will be shoved over to the rural side completely. But, as of right now, this is what I got. <laughs> I have been delivering in my wife's 2017 base model Focus, but uh, which what makes that work is that it doesn't have a full center console because it's a base model S. This on the other hand, or so I was able to take some seat cushions for bleachers, put them in the center and kind of straddle the shifter and do it that way because I'm so tall, I'm six foot three. However, I did in the height of our December rush, I blew out my knee again. So, I've been on the lookout for a right-hand drive vehicle. I was going to get a caravan. That was seemingly like my best option for a uh, plane. For the rural side, because some of our routes during the winter get really, really busy with uh, packages and a Van probably would have been the best option. The at our office, Honda CRVs and Dodge Caravans are the two most popular options. A lot of the women enjoy the CRVs because honestly, the roads, some of these roads we got to deliver on, are pretty much like trails. But for the most part, there's a few guys there that really enjoy the vans, and they just kind of sit on the passenger seat and let, reach their leg over. There is a couple park avenues which they got a full bench seat and they, yeah they sit on the right side reach their leg over and their arm over and make it do and make do this uh, with the knee issue i was in what i was finding with the yellow v's because the pedals are offset in those is that it was really hurting my knee so my option became i had to get something right hand drive and since I'm still fairly new, I didn't want to go out and get some JDM, destroy it, because we beat the living craps out of these cars. I wanted to get something cheap and something to get used to it and do the rural route. Something fairly reliable. And, of course, I had to do classic rookie fashion. Had to find something weird. If you don't already know, the Saturn S series was the first Saturn. They were the car that they took most of the 80s to, for GM to develop. They got their own plant in Tennessee. They got their own line of engines. But basically, that was GM's really first serious attempt at taking on imports. They had an overhead cam engine, or two overhead cam engines, uh, a single and a dual overhead. And basically, they were something very forward thinking for GM. Of course, at the time you had your captive imports with the, the Geo brand and the, like the Chevy Prism and all that and lots of rebashed Zuzus and all that. And then GM's, uh, uh, what was the, the J-Body platform, which was the Cavalier, Sunfire, Sunbird, whatever. But those were kind of like far lacking compared to the imports. This was like really GM's first attempt to take on imports properly. It's front wheel drive, four cylinder engines, a composite body, <laughs> and yeah, this is fiberglass or plastic, whatever. No plane. Um, 
But yeah, for GM of the 80s, this was like something really forward thinking. And of course, this is a second generation. This is a 2000 model. They would get replaced in 2003 by the Ion, which if you want to go watch my video of that, it's the first video I ever made. First Wookiee drives I ever made was of, at the time I owned a 2005 base model Ion with a five speed. And so, yeah, this is actually the second Saturn I've owned. But I, I go through the history of Saturn a lot. But basically, it was a, not as big of success GM would have hoped, but it was a fairly substantial success. They built their a whole new customer base. And Saturn was a big success. They expanded the lineup with the L series, the midsize model in the late 90s. And eventually the View, which would honestly be an Opal. <laughs> but uh, honestly, yeah, the, the Saturn S series is now a largely forgotten but very important piece in GM's history because it's like yeah GM's weird where they very forward thinking at times but they, at the same time dinosaurs <laughs> but anyways before I go too off topic the Saturn S, S series was su such a success and they did take some market share away from the Japanese imports that GM decided hey Let's go sell this in Japan and take on the Japanese one-on-one. -on -one. Well, they far overestimated how <laughs> selling a Saturn in Japan would be. And long story short, they built too many right-hand drive Saturns. So, and kind of a brilliant bit of thinking, they said, well, we got the architecture and the tooling for these right-hand drive Saturns now. Why don't we make these available? On in dealers as a postal option. You sell them for postal workers. At the time, the most popular, two most popular rural carrier vehicles were, sold new were a, the right-hand drive Subaru Legacy and the right-hand drive Jeep Wranglers. And yeah, they sold, they, they weren't a super success. They would only sold, sell them for about three years, but yeah. A really weird little option and supposedly you could have gotten not just the wagon but you could have gotten a right hand drive sedan and a coupe order it from the dealer but I haven't really seen any uh, evidence other than a an old like auto blog article or or the drive article saying that you could but these were there was actual advertising for these I'll include that in the actual Wookiee drives of this video it, for this car, and yeah, this was a weird little option you could have gotten, and now it's largely forgotten. Of course, the SWP name, S for Saturn, W for Wagon, and P for Postal. It's essentially a right-hand drive SW1 wagon, the difference between the ones and twos. The one was a single overhead cam engine. The Two was the dual overhead cam. Continuing on, this one's got 244,000 miles. It's speed up, it's an old postal vehicle. It's got some modifications. Pre uh, I bought this off of a coworker of mine. She had bought it off a carrier, and I'm gonna have to tape that. The door chime sticks open, so. But basically, they removed the passenger seat, installed this little uh, shelf. They got a hardwired light, but it only just lights on. It doesn't blink, so I'm probably going to have to do away with it. I'll just go in from the passenger side. But yeah, basically, it's a right a Saturn S series right-hand drive. It's a little beat up, missing, missing some panels. Uh, the little door uh, rear hatch. There's this button right here. And the fuel door, I've had it open before. But it, yeah, it's coming, it's coming done from the side there. Uh, they get the, it's two row, because it's a compact car. They get the second row to Fold flat, you do gotta remove the seat cushion. So I'm probably just gonna put that in storage. Okay. Uh, the wiper 
wiper motor, I don't believe, works for the back, so that's why there's no wiper on it. And there's a little hatch here for the rear wiper cleaner. I can get back in. And then a bunch of little hooks for cargo nets. And then underneath here was what, where a spare tire would be, but this one does not have one. Just the factory jack. The shocks actually surprisingly work. Um, when I picked it up on Sunday, it was a cold, rainy day. They weren't really working, but they are working now. And then I did find the latch does stick a little sometimes there, so I'm gonna have to get some WD-40. I've had this door working before. This door sticks, but probably just kind of have to get some WD-40 in there too. Let's see from this back. My camera bag sitting on there. Um, you see the jug right here. Two issues with the, with this Saturn SWP. See the snail trail. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Go over here. But it has got a power steering leak. Very bad. I believe it is the pump. It doesn't appear to be a rack. So it could have been worse. <laughs> but and their solution was to just to keep on topping off the fluid, but I, I do plan on getting it fixed. Uh, the other big issue is I believe it needs a left front wheel bearing. Not a right front. Typically on these postal vehicles, the right sides go. Because we're going through ditches and stuff like that. And using a lot of brake but yeah no the left front I believe is in need of, dire need of replacing so it makes a lot of road noise so I will have to get that looked at um, I'm probably next week I'm gonna take it to a local shop because I have an apartment complex right now I'm not gonna fix a wheel bearing in my apartment I'm I'm somewhat mechanically inclined but I'm not I don't call myself a mechanic. I call myself a guy who knows how to wrench, who gets themselves into trouble. So why not just pay a local business to work, work on my car? Also, he's got some cool right-hand drive stuff too, so. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, the wheel bearing, the power steering leak is the two major issues with this car. But otherwise, runs great. The single overhead cam 1.9 does consume oil, but that is very common with the 1.9s so there's just something I got to monitor and honestly that's something you would check every day when you do your vehicle pre pre check and all that but yeah 2000 Saturn SWP I'll be chronicling this some more little vlogs um, probably similar to how, what we did with the what I did with the trooper when I had that but this is an actual work vehicle this is my postal mail carrier vehicle. See, it's a little scuffed up from mailboxes and tree branches and all that. But yeah, follow along. There will be a Wookiee drives of this, of the Saturn SWP in the near future. So stay tuned for a full-blown review of this car. And I'll make plenty of vlogs. Just like chronicling the whole little weird stuff that I gotta fix and maintenance and all that of this little right-hand drive Saturn wagon. Thank you so much for watching, and this was my Saturn SWP.